in this video, you'll learn how to use and optimize product rules for Salesforce CPQ. Whether you're just getting started or looking to fine tune your CPQ process, we've got you covered. Let's dive right in. We'll start with the basics. What are product rules in Salesforce CPQ? Product rules allow you to evaluate a quote or bundle structure against conditions and perform actions in response. They're like your guiding hand, ensuring that your quotes and bundles are accurate and aligned with your business requirements. Error conditions specify the criteria required for a rule to run. There are some use cases where error conditions are not necessary. The actions related list will be used with selection and filter rules. The action will tell a selection rule which product it needs to act on and how. With a filter rule, the action tells the rule how to filter the product catalog. Now let's talk about validation and alert rules. These rules help you validate and alert users when certain conditions are met. It's like having a built-in spell checker for your quotes, preventing errors before they happen. With validation rules, users cannot save and move to the next step if a condition is not met. Alert rules, on the other hand, display a message, but allow users to save and continue. Selection rules allow you to specify which products can be added to a quote based on predefined criteria. This is handy when you want to ensure that only compatible products are selected together. Filter rules are your filters for product options. They always require a configuration rule, as they are only applicable to bundles. These rules allow you to control which products are available for selection within a product bundle by setting default values into the filters. They narrow down choices based on criteria, making sure your sales reps get exactly what they need without confusion. Lookup rules help you fetch information from related records in Salesforce and display it in your quote. They allow you to leverage a lookup table rather than having to create multiple rules for each product. Configuration rules are used to link a bundle and a product rule and used to help specify which bundle associated product rule should fire. They are applied to a scope, product or quote. If quote is selected, configuration rule creation is disabled. If product is selected, the product rule will not fire without a configuration rule. It's important to note that they must relate to a bundled product and never linked to a product without product options or configuration attributes. Let's touch on some tips that will help you be successful. Pro tip 1. Stay organized. Use descriptive names and clear criteria for your rules. This will make managing and troubleshooting them a breeze. Pro tip 2. Always test your rules thoroughly to ensure they work as expected and catch any issues before they impact your quotes. Pro tip 3. Collaborate and learn. Engage with the Salesforce community, join forums and explore Salesforce Trailhead to expand your knowledge and share experiences. In conclusion, product rules in Salesforce CPQ are your secret weapon for creating accurate quotes, saving time and improving the customer experience. Remember these tips and you'll be on your way to becoming a CPQ expert. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.